Which leads into my second question, how did they come up with that law? Was the governor in a meeting like, alright, any new business? And there's just one guy in the back like, yeah, yeah, I have some business that he's attending to. And it's like, what's going on? He's like, let me tell the story, alright? I was at the fishing hole last week, minding my own business. I look over, there's these two cowboys just dipping their lassos in the water and pulling fish out one after the next, and I'm sick of it! Everyone's like, here, here, har har, all right, motion passes. Let's go make some mediocre music in Nashville. <laughs> so, uh, I'm a terrible driver. I got my first ticket a few weeks ago. I ran a stop sign, and that sucked because I knew as soon as I ran it, I was going to get a ticket. So I figured, you know what, I might as well, you know, try to talk my way out of it. So, um, the officer came to the window and he said, son, you, uh, you ran a stop sign back there. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, officer. See, I'm dyslexic. And I thought that sign said POTS. <laughs> and even as I was driving by, I was like, oh yeah, I gotta pick up some pot. <laughs> and he didn't know what to say, he was kind of taken back. He, he thought I was intoxicated or something. He, he told me to recite my alphabet backwards. So to cover my story, I was like, A, B, C. <laughs> so uh, I don't like the game Twister. I cannot stand the game Twister. Because, I mean, it starts out okay, but it progresses into something terrible, right? It's like right foot red. All right, that's easy. Done. Left foot green. All right. Now I'm in prime position to get kicked. <laughs> if I ever want to have children, I can't play Twister for too much longer. Right hand red. Okay, here's where it gets really bad. <laughs> I've never found myself in this position saying, hey, I'm really comfortable with all the decisions I've made. <laughs> I'm really happy with who I am as a person, and I'm just happy to be alive. <laughs> no, I always find myself in this position saying, how did this happen? Where are my pants? How am I going to explain this to my parents? Don't worry, I learned my lesson. Never try to catch a fish with a lasso. Ah, <laughs> uh, good one. <laughs> so the other day, I'm hanging out with this girl, right? I'm checking her out. I'm staring at her booze. <laughs> <laughs> and she caught me looking, and she was like, Hey! I am not an object! My face is up here! So to smooth things over, I paid her a compliment. I was like, Well, madame, your boobs are a lot more attractive than your face. <laughs> I know, that was her reaction too. <laughs> Girls, you don't understand boobs, okay? <laughs> boobs are like ceiling fans, right? They're really simple, but they're mesmerizing. If you glance at one for one second, you could be staring at it for ten minutes. <laughs> if I had to explain boobs to girls, Let's, let's do this scenario, all right? Let's take a pair of very fancy, fashionable shoes, and I'll stick them in my shirt, but they'll be showing like halfway, right? <laughs> you girls might come up to me and you might be like, hey, can I see those and play with them a little bit? <laughs> hey, I'm not an object. My face is up here. <laughs> girls, have you ever been in a shoe store and you're not allowed to look at any of the shoes? <laughs> That's what it's like to be a man. Thank you everyone, I'm sure.